So what was the Christmas star? Well, for centuries, astronomers have debated over a biblical mystery, the Star of Bethlehem. A bright object streaking across the sky nearly 2,000 years ago. NASA astronomer now claims the Star of Bethlehem was a comet that was observed by the Chinese in 5 BC. You know what's interesting? Neil deGrasse Tyson, who of course is very anti-Christian, anti-biblical. Do you believe in God? Me? I, so, creator? Uh, yeah, so I'm... The, the more I look at the universe, um, just the less convinced I am. He was on a podcast discussing what could the Christmas star have been? The most famous star in the night sky and also reportedly shown during the day, the star of Bethlehem. Mm. Do we have any real record of what that was? Go or on, ask that? the Jewish man about the star of Bethlehem. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> he was saying, for these Christians that believe in the Christmas star, could have been a supernova, could have been a conjunction. So my forefathers <laughs> did not draw a diagram or a map of where it was. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, this only appears in the New Testament right? Yeah. Uh, as a star in the east. Star in the east. Um, yeah. You know, that's a little, a little vague. Too vague huh? <laughs> you think? Look. You got to go look really carefully at the Chinese, Japanese, and Korean records from, say, minus 10 to plus 10, yeah. um, you mm -hmm. know, AD, uh, and there is no good candidate. And there's no good yeah. candidate. Okay. Yeah. Well, of course, someone like Neil deGrasse Tyson doesn't believe in the supernatural, doesn't believe in God, so he's not going to propose the idea, maybe God did it specially, <laughs> which is certainly what I believe and what I believe the text tells us. In Matthew chapter 2, we read this. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, I'll come back to Bethlehem in a bit as well. That's very interesting because in Micah, it says Bethlehem Ephrata. It's actually uh, a specific Bethlehem. We'll come back to that. Was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king. Behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star. Notice that, his star. Something about that star that was special, uh, maybe because they knew about the Old Testament that said a star will come out of Jacob. Hmm, interesting. And of course, Daniel lived over in that area of uh, Persia too. And so maybe they knew all about what Daniel had taught. Very interesting. For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. And when Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him and gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he was inquiring of them where the Christ was to be born. And they said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea. They knew, <laughs> they knew the prophecy about Jesus being born in Bethlehem. They obviously didn't believe it, but they knew about it. For this is what has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah. For out of you shall come forth a leader who will shepherd my people. Then Herod secretly called the Magi and carefully determined from them the time the star appeared. It's obvious Herod didn't see the star. So it was the Magi who saw it. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully for the child. And when you have found him, report to me so that I too may come and worship him. Isn't it interesting that the chief priests and scribes knew of the prophecy to be born in Bethlehem, but they obviously weren't interested in searching for the child. Now after hearing the king, they went their way, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east. So they'd seen the star, and they obviously didn't see it when they were there in Jerusalem, and now the star appeared again. It was going on before them until it came and stood over the place where the child was. How could that be a supernova or a conjunction of planets? And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. After coming into the house, they saw the child. By the way, it would seem Jesus at that stage would be probably a couple of years old. So they didn't come to the manger. You know, a lot of those nativity scenes that have the wise men there at the manger. Well, that's not so. And they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell to the ground and worshiped him. Then opening their treasures, they presented to him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, the Magi departed for their own country by another way. You know, Numbers 24, 17 is the verse that says a star will come out of Jacob. And maybe they knew that verse, which is why they called it his star. 
that this star will come out of Jacob. When it says they saw it in the east, the words can actually mean at its rising. And so those words can be translated that way, at its rising. So maybe it was astonishing to them because instead of rising in the east, it rose in the west over Israel, which is why they headed to Jerusalem because a star in the west wouldn't distinguish between Jerusalem and Bethlehem. But the star guided them to Bethlehem after they met Herod, who told them the prophet said Bethlehem, and then the star guided them. You know, it's interesting that Bethlehem is prophesied to be the birthplace of the Savior. In Micah 5 verse 2, it says, But as for you, Bethlehem Ephratah. So it actually is talking about a specific Bethlehem. Too little to be among the clans of Judah. From you one will go forth for me to be ruler in Israel. His goings forth are from everlasting, from the ancient days. Did you know there are two Bethlehems there in Israel? There's the Bethlehem of Judah, which is Bethlehem Ephratah. It's located five miles south of Jerusalem. This is the Bethlehem most associated with the biblical events, including David's origin and, of course, Jesus' birth. There's another Bethlehem, Bethlehem of Galilee, that's situated in northern Israel. And this town is mentioned in Joshua 19, verse 5. You know what is interesting? The Bible specifies which Bethlehem. Isn't that amazing? Think about that. It's so specific. Well, only the Magi saw this star or recognized what it was. Herod didn't see it. Uh, it appeared to the Magi once they left Jerusalem to guide them to where the child, where Jesus was with his mother, Mary. Wow. As I said, Jesus was probably about two years old because Herod tried to kill all the Israelite children two and under. And that's why we suspect maybe a Jesus at that stage was about uh, two years old. I think it's fitting that God used a celestial object to announce the birth of Christ since Psalm 19.1, the heavens declare the glory of God. Well, want to learn more about stars? Check out this video where I discuss the question, how could light from distant stars exist if the earth is only 6,000 years old?